This is an exceptional piece of advice that I think would behoove many people to follow. Strangely enough, I think more adults, you know, people who are in their 40s, 50s, perhaps even 60s and 70s could benefit most from this piece of knowledge. Don't give anyone a reason to film you in public. Whether you're having an outburst, you're freaking out over something petty, or you, your day just isn't going right and you decide to take it out on uh, random passersby and, uh, you know, fellow pedestrians or, or whatnot. And if someone does begin to film you, taking their phone out of their pocket and recording you, don't exacerbate your situation by giving them more shit to film. Like, what, what the fuck is it with, with you old people? Get it through your heads. Everybody in the world, pretty much, owns this device that they keep in their pocket. And it has typically incredible camera resolution, records crystal clear audio and video, and it essentially it documents, it creates history out of people like you going off on your idiotic tirades and, and, and your, your petulant little rants and, and, and your tantrum throwing. And listen, it, it doesn't just stay on the phone. If it's juicy enough, if you were enough of a fuckhead to give someone a real show to really enjoy and get a lot of entertainment value out of, that shit's going to go on the internet, potentially viewed by millions. Now, the whole encounter could have been confined to, to yourself, the person who was filming you, and perhaps, you know, let's just assume a dozen or so people around you, by just curtailing your, you know, the way you were acting as you were being filmed, instead of making it worse for yourself. Grown adults, I feel, can benefit from this more than, than uh, people my age. And people my age, certainly, they need to lay off the TikTok, people my fucking age. But the people who have... Um, who have gotten so far into their lives as to reach their 60s and 70s, 40s and 50s, understand how the internet works. You are immortalizing your own embarrassment because once something is put on the internet, it's very, it's very difficult, near impossible to get it taken down. And, and this is usually, you know, the truest of mild content. Um... And believe it or not, when it comes to the internet, public outbursts are considered mild content, typically. But my, my, my main point here is stupid old fucks out there in, in the ether of society who still think you can just fucking start screaming at someone, start telling people how the world works through your eyes and how they should follow it the way you follow it. That's not, that's not the world you live in anymore. And maybe it's because you don't care, you don't, like, you're old and you just don't give a shit. Well, good for you. Good for you. Let that be your legacy then. Let that be what you are known for by more people than not. Okay? You'll have your family and your friends who might say good things about you and, and, and regale people saying, hey, he was a nice guy, this and that. But there's going to be millions of other people out there who are going to think very differently of you. And whether or not that bothers you, um, I mean, when it comes to you acting like a fucking child out in public, it kind of should bother you. It doesn't, it, uh, I, I don't know. <sighs> Younger people need role models, right? And, and I see some of these people act the way they do. And I ask my, every time I see a Karen, uh, a Ken or whatever the fuck a male Karen is, doing what they do best. And letting it be recorded on video. I always think to myself, what the fuck happened in this person's life that was so bad that it, 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 it made them become this person? Maybe something bad happened. Maybe not enough good things happened. Maybe you didn't have enough experiences throughout life. Maybe you didn't have enough brushes with um, proper etiquette to, to really understand how you should comport yourself in public. But you failed, and now you're an immortalized piece of shit that the internet can enjoy for decades on into the future. So, follow the advice or not, I think it's sound. 
Don't give people a fucking reason to film you. And that goes really for anybody. Thanks for watching. Take care.